Hi there, I'm Steve Mahoney, and I'm on the product team for Databricks. I'm responsible for our data collaboration technologies, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Databricks marketplace. But first, the Databricks Lakehouse is built for data collaboration. All of the AI, analytics, and ML that you build inside of it, well, the value is not realized until you put it into the hands of your users. And so that's where the Databricks marketplace comes in. We've built it to enable your users to get value from third-party data. Speaking of third-party data, the journey to getting value from it is often long and tedious. From the process of discovery, where you need to figure out what vendors you're working with and what data sets they have access to, to the access challenges of working with security and IT and legal, to figuring out where you're going to put the data once you have it, and who's your admin and whether or not they can grant you access to it. And then there's the wrangling process, having to figure out how you structure the data, whether or not you have to ETL it into what platform and where. And then finally, the analysis portion of things, where you can actually start deriving insights. Today's economy revolves around data-driven innovation. For example, as a retailer, shipping and logistics is important. Being able to pull data like weather data and foot traffic directly into my data platform is important for me to be able to build predictive analyses, such as when the weather is going to be great and where, so that I can make sure that the trucks loaded with all the goodies are being sent to the right location and the right time. This is a massive opportunity for many organizations. There's predictions that by 2030, $3.6 trillion worth of value will change hands around this kind of data. Data marketplaces today, though, are restrictive and deliver minimal value. They often give you just data tables and files, and maybe some SQL descriptions to help you understand them. They're missing, though, the full puzzle. Things like analytical patterns that help you understand whether or not the data is right for you, and quality evaluations to see whether or not there's null values or wrong values, and insights that help you get started faster so that you can accelerate adopting your use cases. These are the kinds of materials that we want to be able to provide with the Databricks Marketplace. The Databricks Marketplace is an open marketplace for data analytics and AI, more than just data. Data, tables, files, notebooks, dashboards, ML models. As a consumer, you can discover all of these assets in one place, and you can consume them wherever you are. No vendor lock-in because with Delta sharing, you can receive the data products whether you are on Databricks or not. As a provider, now you can monetize all of these different types of data assets and expose new revenue opportunities. And a streamlined delivery means that you can reach customers wherever they are. So that's the Databricks Marketplace. I want to give you a bit of a demo, though. So let's dive in. So here I am inside of the Databricks Marketplace. We're in the preview of the Databricks Marketplace, but you can already see many of the great providers and data products that we have available. Let's pretend we're in a fictitious scenario. In my previous job, I used to work for a disease risk analytics company, and COVID data was very important to us. So let's search for some COVID data and see what's available to us here. By typing in COVID, I can quickly see all of the assets that are available. And here, REARC is providing a few of them for us. There's a COVID-19 predictions model asset here, and I'm gonna click on it. Clicking on that data product, you can see the description that includes the name, an overview, some of the tables that are available to it, uh, the data source, and a bunch of other great information. On the right-hand side, you can see some information about the provider, the website, and support links. But my eyes are drawn down here to this sample notebook. This is what I wanna get into. Clicking on the sample notebook, I can now see that there's a lot more information that's available to me. And not just simple SQL statements. I can actually see some ways that I would explore the data and some use cases behind it. Scrolling down, they've included a pandas profiling report. So now I can quickly look at statistics and variable types. I can even click through and, and look at things like the cardinality of the data. And as I scroll through all of this column information, I get down to even some visualizations. Uh, things like some additional predictions that they've already included in the data, as well as some correlations, it looks like. This is the kind of information I need to evaluate whether this product is right for me. So now that I've done that assessment, I can gain access to this product. Scrolling up, I can see that the pricing is listed as instantly available. So I'm going to click on the Get Instant Access button. Here, 
in this modal, I can see that I have some information to enter, a catalog name, and then I can simply check and click Get Instant Access. And just like that, the data is available to me. I can click to open it, and it takes me right into my data catalog, right here, available instantly for me. That's the power of Delta Sharing. This is the provider side of the Databricks Marketplace. Here's where you'll manage all of your product listings, respond to consumer requests, create new provider profiles, or create private exchanges for sharing data products with specific organizations. Let's edit one of the product listings. Here, I'm editing the Acme Co. product quality data. You can see here that the general fields include things like the short description that helps with search results. Down below, is where I can choose whether or not the data will be instantly available, like the product I accessed previously, or require an approval flow for consumers. Scrolling down, I can add additional attributes to the data product, such as categories, and whether or not the data product will be paid or free. Below that, I have some details, like a markdown field for the description, and a sample notebook to help people evaluate the data product quickly. Let's go back to my listings. And here you can see that I have some requests. And one of those requests is for that Acme Co. product quality data. Clicking on it, I can see the information about the person who requested it, their name, and some information about what their intended use case is. I can choose to deny the access to this, mark it as pending in case I want to contact them, or Fulfill the product listing right now. By choosing to fulfill, it's as simple as selecting a Delta share and clicking Update Request. And just like that, the Delta share has been granted to that user. That's the Databricks Marketplace, an open marketplace for all your data, analytics, and AI.